today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can earn money when you go to VA medical appointments. And I'm also going to talk to you about what a vet center is. And I'm also going to vlog my experiences going to a VA medical center for an appointment. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. As I said in the intro, I'm going to take you guys along when I go to the VA Medical Center for a dental appointment, and that's happening tomorrow. I'm also going to just talk a little bit about mileage and how you can get money back for travel to the appointments you go to. So about a month ago, I did a vlog where I went to the VA Medical Center in Charleston and I had a dental checkup. Turns out I had a filling. So tomorrow I get to go back and I get to get a filling. I'm so excited. The good news is a couple days ago, I am getting a check from the United States Treasury Department for a grand total of $12.26. I feel rich now. I can now go buy a small coffee at Starbucks. But no, the reason why I got this check is because currently the VA is paying 41 cents per mile for travel reimbursement if you have to travel to go to an appointment. Now, there are certain rules when it comes to travel reimbursement with the VA. There's too many rules to even try to explain. So I'm going to drop that link in the description box below. What I can tell you, though, is that when you go to your VA medical appointment, you can go to the kiosks and one you can check in at your appointment at the kiosk and two you can while you're there you can also press the button that says travel pay and then you can put in your information affirm everything's true and then you get a little a little ticket receipt from the printout and then a couple of weeks later you'll get travel pay from it so depending on how far you have to go for your appointment will depend on how much your check's going to be that's it for now, and I'll catch up with you guys in a few. Made it to the VA, and it was a good drive. I did have time to stop by and get my $12.94 small coffee. Just kidding. I actually got a small latte. But... But I think karma actually caught up with me because when I went to to pay for it with the credit card, the machine wasn't really working. And after a minute or two of trying, the nice lady finally just said, hey, drinks on me. So, so I saved $12.99. Shout out to Starbucks on that one. And I did want to offer a quick little tip here. Drive-throughs are convenient, they really are, but sometimes they're not worth it. When I went to go to Starbucks, my first inclination was, oh, the drive-through, but I saw there was a huge line. So I just parked my vehicle, walked 20 yards to the building, went in there, and there was not a customer in sight. I was in and out in less than five minutes. Sometimes maybe just skip the drive-through and just walk in. That's my tip of the day. So I'm glad that is over. You know, I'm a medic and I have no problem with needle, shots, blood, all that fun stuff. When it comes to teeth and dental procedures, I, I'm just not the biggest fan. Anyway, all is well. So let's talk about vet centers. Under the Department of Veteran Affairs, you have vet centers, you have the outpatient clinics, and you also have the big medical centers. I think there's about 150, give or take, medical centers in the United States. And there are, 
I want to say it's like 1500 or 1500 ish outpatient clinics and vet centers. Uh, typically you will be within, I think a half an hour, hour drive or so of a clinic when it comes to the big medical centers, such as Ralph H. Johnson, for example, then you might be a, you might be a further away. You could be up to a few hours drive away, but typically I think you're going to be within driving distance. Uh, I, mean, I can imagine if you're out like in Alaska, out in the boonies, you might, it, might be a little further than a few hours. So you have the med centers, which will have emergency rooms and the surgical suites and ICUs and some specialty clinics like cardiac, for example. And then you will have outpatient clinics, which is where you will have your PCM, your primary care manager will be there. You know, they'll have lab, x-ray, and maybe physical therapy. And then you have something called a vet center. Vet centers, uh, again, they're scattered all over the United States. I think they've been around, I want to say since 1979, but I could be completely making it up. But vet centers are for transitioning service members from wartime to peacetime. They're available to veterans and active duty, as well as National Guard and reserves and also all their family members. They have counseling services, such as, let's say, group, individual, and family and marriage counseling. And they can also have uh, referrals to other programs. When, when they said, I saw on the website, they're talking about referrals to other programs. If I were to guess what that would be, I would guess that it would be maybe to 12-step program? I'm not sure, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link in my description box that talks all about the vet centers. If you want more information about, then just check it out. Again, I'm Kylie, just in the Army Vet. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Signing out.